Good evening, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. There are certain things in life, in Christian life, that we cannot take for granted. According to uh, St. Paul's letter to the Corinthians, there are three virtues without which we cannot live a Christian life. One is faith, one is hope, and one is love. Hope becomes, actually, the link between faith and love, if you think about it so carefully. And we need to grow in our faith if we have to, if we were to sustain our faith, grow in our hope so that we sustain our faith, grow in our hope that we continue to love one another. So, this week we had been discussing, sharing about uh, hope in relation to various roles in our families. We reflected upon the role of a mother, role of a father. And today, I thought of uh, paying our attention to the role of our young children, sons and daughters that we find in our families. During our young days, youth, young days, young children they have a lot of problems, especially in a country like ours. When the economic situation is not that desirable, there are a lot of uncertainties with which a youth, a young person, a young son or a daughter faces his or her future. We, they do not know what to do. They do not know where to go, what stream to take during their A-levels, what type of a profession to choose out of many, what would be the future in relation to their life, their status, maybe the marriage, uh, and also what type of an occupation. Uh, that uh, a person should choose. There are a lot of questions going uh, within one's mind uh, when you think about a young crowd, young sons and daughters. If you have a young child in your family, if you are a young person, you know what I am saying. This is very true. And therefore, sometimes we go astray and we take uh, some... We make some bad uh, decisions leading towards our downfall, destruction, sometimes uh, getting stuck in certain addictions, certain uh, undesirable relationships, certain uh, unwanted friendships, uh, some, some of the... some. Uh, Things that is not good, not uh, helping to grow in one's life, maybe some sinfulness, all these are true when we think about our young children. If that is the case, my dear friends, what are we going to do? Are we to remain there with the failures that happen in our lives? Are we to remain there? Are we to uh, lose the hope that we need to have and to live our life accordingly? This is a question. My dear friends, whatever happens in our lives, we need to understand that God is always there for us. And most importantly, there are a lot of people that can help us, that can help us to become successful in our lives. There are a lot of 
people who would, who are willing to help our young young generation your teachers sometimes your parish priests sometimes the sisters that you find in your parish in the in the convents sometimes uh, some adults in your even in your families some relations some friends your own parents they become actually instruments of god giving you the guidance and therefore when you are down with some issue you should not lose your hope as we were been discussing uh, this with the other figures in the family my dear young sons and daughters you you should not lose your hope because of the things that happen in your life because of the uncertainties that you have about your future everything my dear friends passes away everything passes away there's nothing that remains forever in one's life every stage has its end what important is and what is not passing or what is actually certain is yourself and the relationships that you gonna maintain with yourself with god with one another and with the creation that is what is certain and therefore every experience since they are passing we need to focus on the relationships that we have and move forward and to do that you need to maintain a lot of uh, strength and to have that strength you need to work on your hope if you are a hopeful person you will you will have a lot of strength to move forward it gives you assurance it gives you uh, confidence to move forward because you know at the end you will find the success that you are uh, hunting for my dear friends so when we uh, discuss about uh, hope in young characters that we find uh, in the scriptures uh, i thought of sharing uh, with you a beautiful character in the person of esther the book of esther that we find in the old testament uh, is a, a rather a brief story a brief book short book but this uh, the story of esther gives uh, present us a very young character very young daughter maybe in her teens late teens that she was uh, betrothed or given to marriage to the king of persia she was a jewish woman during the exile according to the story in the bible she was given as the the queen or the 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 wife of king persia and therefore she became the queen of persia replacing uh, the the previous queen of persia vashti so replacing her because of the things that happened with her because of the uh, punishment that she received queen vashti uh, esther becomes the queen of persia now she comes as a jewish woman jewish girl having her tradition having her kith and kin in her mind and she uses the power she yield from her uh, queenship to help her people that's the beauty that we find in this girl a very young person uh first of all accepting her fate to become a wife to this king accepting that fate very boldly and uh, believing in god 
praying for God for the better guidance to move forward. She won't stop there. She tries her level best and finally become triumphant in helping her own people. If she were to think her life is over, this is the punishment that she receives to marry a person from uh, some other pagan culture, pagan nation, and this is the end of my life. And if she, if she had thought that, uh, we would not have this beautiful character coming up in the scriptures. So my dear sons and daughters of young age, sometimes when our lives is at a very challenging situation, we think that's the end of life. Sometimes we find some young people, young uh, men and women, even committing suicide because they cannot uh, fathom, they cannot stomach things that happen in their lives. They think this is the end of the world. But I assure you, as I said earlier, everything that happens to our life passes away. What remains is our relationship with ourselves, with God and with one another. Therefore, without losing our hope, always being hopeful in the, in, the, in the power of God, in the strength that we can draw from God, in the guidance that we receive from God, we need to act accordingly, step by step, moving forward in our Christian life. Let us pray today, therefore, for our young sons and daughters, that they may never lose hope in their younger days. Thank you.